Transition is going on, uh, fortunately, but not within the same speed or the same pace that we used to have. You know, uh, political aspects re reflects on everything. Uh, in the Middle East, we don't have only one problem. We have plenty of problems. Um, political unrest is, is everywhere and uh, people ha have some priorities. Uh, in their perspective towards energy. As for the Arab League that I represent, the, the energy transition is one of the first priorities and we've been doing a lot of things together with our partners. Uh, the recent document that we have is uh, towards a pan-Arab uh, green hydrogen strategy, which is mainly focusing on, on how could uh, green energy contribute to the energy transition in the area. The future of, of the oil is, uh, I believe that oil is, is there. We believe that um, all sources of energy are uh, meant to be for a better future rather than to use it as, uh, as, I, as I said in my intervention, rather, rather than use it as an instrument in crisis. We believe that energy should be used uh, for the benefit of, the, of all uh, the people in the, in the region and also for the benefit of our future uh, generations. Most Arab countries, m many Arab countries, not most of them, many Arab countries are oil uh, producing countries. So uh, it adds to their uh, uh, economy, it has its, its benefits and uh, in many aspects um, oil cannot be replaced uh, by any sort of energy. I mean in, in petrochemicals, in uh, uh, airplane fuels, you can't substitute uh, oil. So we are still having oil in, in the area, uh, but uh, we are also um, doing a lot with regards to renewable energy and uh, sustainable energy in general. So um, our aim is to have all uh, resources, energy resources, uh, working together, contributing to, the, um, to, to a, a better future. Uh, we used to have a lot of uh, projects, we used to have it, uh, especially from the Mediterranean side. Uh, we used to have uh, a very productive cooperation with uh, uh, MedEMEP project, MedENEC projects. Those projects were funded by the uh, European Union and uh, we had a lot of uh, progress uh, with, with uh, those projects. Unfortunately, we don't see much uh, nowadays, uh, but we have, on the other hand, we have, um, for example, a memorandum of understanding to be signed with um, METSO, and uh, we work together with, with METSO to, to develop this... Uh, yes. Yes, and uh, the memorandum of understanding reflects all, all the areas that we, uh, we are proposing together to have in, in the future. Also with MEDREG, we are in the process of uh, doing something together. Uh, with Italy, I've been... Um, uh, Paolo from MEDREZ, uh, Res for Africa, uh, just uh, talked to me about it. I believe I got something also in my email uh, in this regard also. Um, we are ready. Uh, I mean, whoever extends uh, the hand, we, uh, we accept that uh, with pleasure. Um, and we're here. I mean, uh, reachable.